Wild One people. Alright, so I'm going to be doing an unboxing video today. Well, I guess unboxing isn't quite the right word to use since it's not quite in a box. It's more of a, well, it is a plastic wrapping. So it's more of an unwrapping video that I'm going to be doing today for this uh, album. Rex Brown smoking this. So for those who don't know, Rex Brown is a musician. Well, I imagine that much is obvious if you didn't know. It, it, it's, yeah, it should, should be clear <laughs> anyway. Um, he's a musician. He's a guitarist in particular. He's been around since, or been active since, um, the early 80s or 1981 according to Wikipedia at least anyway but of course Wikipedia sometimes gets things wrong and you know that if you watch the Loudwire series um, but yeah he's been a musician since uh, he's been a musician for a while anyway and he's been in many different bands over the years and most recent I believe is a band called Crowbar um, to be honest I haven't really listened to Crowbar in fact I, after Pantera which is what he's really known for or I guess he's what he's mostly known for is Pantera um, I haven't really been following Rex Brown's career that closely I only recently started following, following him he said it properly on Instagram and that's when I found out this album was just uh, literally I think about the, the same day or maybe within a few days of me following on Instagram I saw that he posted this album's about to be released and it came out uh, late June I think it, it was released um, I only just got it recently though myself but it's uh, fairly still filling new album um, but yeah so I followed him on Instagram found out he was releasing this album and it's his first uh, solo album his first his debut solo album called Smoke and This by Rex Brown um, as I said I haven't really been following his career too closely so I'm not entirely sure I'm not, I'm, I'm, I know he's been in some bands but I don't know what specifically he's been doing after Pantera Pantera were one of my favourite bands back in the day um, in fact I wish I still listen to Pantera albums so um yeah, but yeah, it's, it's cool to see that he's doing something um, on his own. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, well, well, I haven't heard anything from it. I've not heard any of the songs. I didn't look them up. I thought, you know, I'm just going to buy this album. So I bought it. And yeah, about to listen to this. Well, let me uh, open this up first. I'll show you guys the insides. Um, so let's unwrap this, this unwrapping video that we're going to do today. Rex Brown smoke on this. Smoke on what exactly? Let's see. All right, there we go. So that's uh, unwrapped. So um, there's the cover. Should be able to say a bit better. There's a bit, a little bit less, less glare once the uh, wrapper is off. The plastic wrapper is off. So uh, that's the front cover. Uh, that's the side right there. And then there's the back with uh, well his back <laughs> and the song listings as well. So there are 11 tracks on this. Lone Rider, Crossing Lines, Buried Alive, Train Song. Get yourself all right. Fault line. I think actually, you know, come to think, I think I did hear a little bit. Of Get yourself all right. So I think I did hear a little bit of that one before. Actually, come to think of it, that's uh, that name. That tell does sound familiar. Um, but yeah, fault line. Uh, what comes around? Grace. So into you. Best of me. And one of these days. Okay. So uh, let's open this up. And there's the CD. Rex Brown smoke on this. Oh, that's the CD. You know, how CDs look. <laughs> Circular. So uh, we've got the inlay here, just a little uh, pouch for the inlay, so let's see what we've got here, again this album cover, and uh, okay looks like practice session photos, alright, so uh, song words, I always like it when albums come with song words, when you buy, especially when you buy, I mean I buy a lot of stuff like as mp3 downloads these days, because I do buy a lot of um, the unsigned you know independent artists and it's they typically will release their stuff through Bandcamp and uh, sites like that so you don't always get a CD you know sometimes you do but you don't always um, and so you don't really get yeah don't you very rarely get song words when you buy stuff as a download and even when you buy CDs with independent artists you very rarely get a song words as well um, and be, even with like non-independent artists where you buy an album on a CD you don't always get song words it's very rare these days so I always appreciate when Albums come with song words because back in the day, pretty much every album would come with song words. We bought it, you open up the inlay, and you'd have song words in there. And which is, I, mean, I know you can look this stuff up online, but still, it's always nice that it comes with it so you know officially what the people who wrote the song actually intended and not somebody who just listened to it a bunch of times and tried to figure out as best as they can what the person was saying. Um, so, I do is always appreciate song words, so uh, that's a good start. Um, but yeah, we've got some photos, I guess, uh, with session musicians and uh. Uh, meetings and things but yeah that's the kind of a poster I guess with uh, lots of different things on it if you want to guess you could hang this up on your wall I'm not going to um, I'd rather keep this in the inlay but I guess you could hang up on your wall if you really want to maybe buy a second one just so you don't have to in case you want to you know look at the song words as well as the poster but anyway that is that is the 
unwrapping of Rex Brown smoking this. I'm going to listen to this album now and come back with some initial thoughts of what I think of Rex Brown. Oh, actually, there's something pretty cool I just noticed. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well, actually, because it's right on the inside. But if you squeeze that a little bit, if you get that on camera, you can see a little bit of it there. But there is uh, some artwork on the inside of that, which is pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, it looks like it's just the same as the album cover. <laughs> and uh, there's something else there. Uh, no, there, there's something else. There's something else. It's a bit difficult to see, even without the camera. But it's there's one on this side. That's the, that's the album cover. Then there's something on this side as well. It's a bit fainter. Um, but that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Even though you can't really see it too well, you'd have to rip it open, which I'm not going to do to actually see it properly. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool thing to do. That's a pretty cool thing. I like that, actually. All right, anyway, I want to listen to this album and come up with some initial thoughts of Rex Brown's debut effort. Debut solo effort. So smoke. No, that's smoke. No, so that properly. Rex Brown's debut effort, smoking this. All right, be back in a little bit. All right, and I'm back, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna just, uh, well, have adjusted the camera a little bit. I think uh, the, when I was look, going through the previous footage, it seemed might I might have been a little bit too much to the side. So hopefully you can see things a little bit better now um, in this second part. I've just listened to the album, and I'm coming back with some initial thoughts. So overall, in fact, I'm gonna show you around the album again, just in case you did miss anything in the first one uh, while I'm talking about the album. So overall, um, I did like it. I think it's a solid first effort. That is my initial impression of the uh, album. It's a solid first effort. I say first effort, it's not his first album coming, he's been in the game for years. It's a solid debut album uh, for somebody who's been a musician for a long time, been in various bands and so on, and now he's stepping out, doing his own thing, he's singing now, he's doing guitar now. Um, so it's a solid debut effort is what I'm trying to say, even though to be fair, it's not exactly a debut effort in the real sense of the word, because he's had plenty of albums, he's been on plenty of albums before this, but yeah, as his own thing, solid effort, solid uh, uh, debut. Um, so yeah, he is singing on this album. Um, he stepped up from. Oh, in fact, I did. Let me correct myself a little bit on something. Well, not really correct, but just to clarify, because I mentioned before that he's a guitarist, which is true. He is a guitarist. In fact, he plays guitar on this album. Plays lead guitar. And he does the lead vocals on this album. Um, but to clarify, he was actually a bassist when he was in Pantera, um, which was, I believe, what he's mainly, mainly known for as being a bassist in Pantera. But on this album, he's a guitarist. Um, and a vocalist as well and a, and a smoker uh, apparently too um, but yeah it's a solid album um, I liked uh, I would say that overall though um, I think overall this is kind of that, this kind of album that you listen to like if you're doing something like say you're writing a, 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 you got I don't know, an essay to write or a report to write or whatever or maybe you're an artist and you like to draw and you want something in the background where you draw and it's, it's a good album to have as sort of ambience on that um, as, as kind of an ambience album uh, the standout tracks for me, I'd say, were Train Song and um, Best of Me and then One of These Days. But only really the beginning part of One of These Days. It kind of mellows out a little bit after the beginning part. Um, it's not as heavy as Pantera. So if you're used to Pantera, um, this is not as heavy as that. This is um, kind of like a cross between... No, I want to say Guns N' Roses and sort of like country singer, but maybe not quite. Maybe it's, it's more country than heavy rock, um, but not full on. It's definitely not like full on like country, like, you know, Ch uh, Chesney Hawks or anything like that. You know, Dolly Parton, uh, Willie Nelson. It's not that not that far country, but it does it does have a little bit of a country feel to it. Um, kind of mixed with the uh, rock and roll. You know, that's, that's how it sounds to me anyway. Um, the one criticism, I'll mean, show you this because I don't think this came out too clearly in the first one. So let me try to show this again. That's the inside part where you can see the cover. Well, you can see the cover when you when you can look at it. I can't, still can't think you can see it on camera. But then the other side is where you read, even without looking at it normally, you can't really see much. Maybe just a little bit you can see there is actually a print on the inside, but you need to rip that open to see it properly. Um, I'm not going to rip this open. Anyway, um, but I'll say the, the one, I don't know if it's a criticism, to be fair, but I'll say the one thing that kind of stood out in a slightly negative uh, for me was that the vocals seem to be recorded quite low now the reason why I say it's not really I mean it's kind of a negative kind of it isn't but and the reason why I say that is because I can hear what he's saying you know what I mean I can hear what he's saying I'm not struggling to hear what he's saying either I can hear what he's saying his voice is clear I can hear, hear the words clear enough all that kind of stuff I can hear what he's saying 
it's just that it sounds low. Like, in compared to, I'm not even really sure it really compares stuff, but whatever. When you compare it to other albums, there's sort of a, 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 vo a level to the sounds, a level to the you know music, and a level to the uh, to the uh, vocals. And the vocals just seem a little bit lower than, say, most other albums. And again, you can hear what you say, or I can hear what you say, and I'm not struggling or anything like that. But it did, it did stick out to me. And I'm not sure if that's a creative choice or whether that's maybe a technical thing or because maybe he's not well i say uh, as far as i know he's not normally a singer again i haven't followed his career after pantera i don't know what he's been doing um i but from what from what i know he's not normally a singer um and pe perhaps that was one of the reasons behind it to lower the vo uh, lower the volume or lower the um what's the word not the volume um the decibels on the on the vocals possibly uh, i don't know maybe it was myself i did try it on different things it did come out the same way so i don't know um, it, it could be just um, maybe I've got the, the CD that I got just came out that way um, but if you've heard this album let me know what you think of it. let me know what you think of the vocals if that I mean it doesn't bother me but let me know if that bothers you or if you if you notice that or if you know it doesn't matter or you don't care or you think maybe it's just a, it's a good thing anyway um, you know let me know what you think of that if you've heard this album but I, I, I like the album I think it's a good album I think overall it's uh, I wouldn't say brilliant I think that maybe a little bit of a stretch but it's definitely a very good album um, definitely something I'd want to listen to uh, again a few more times um, so yeah Rex Brown Smoke and This recommended by Mr. Hayes um, if you like rock and roll um, or if you just want to try something uh, a little bit different if, you, if you're not used to rock and roll I think it's something that anybody can listen to um, it's not super heavy it's not super as my other camera going off it's not super heavy um but it's not really light either you know i'd say kind of a country-ish uh, heavy rock slash hybrid ish sort of not quite either of them uh, it's a weird way of describing it but yeah good album um and anyway if you like this video give it a like and share it amongst your friends if you did not like it give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies Either way, let me know your reasons in the comments. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching and until whenever, if ever, smoke on this.